Hi YouTubers, it's Frozen Fowler here on uh, on YouTube or uh, 40 Below Gardening on Facebook. Today I'd like to talk to you about uniseals. If you're just now getting into aquaponics, you need to know about uniseals. These will not only save you a lot of time, but they'll save you a lot of money too. And uh, I get mine online from uh, Bulk Reef Supply. And what they are is they uh, they can take the place of bulkhead fittings and I mean anytime you need to put a pipe onto something, this is what you should use. So I'd like to go ahead and uh, show you how to install one of these um, and we'll get going here in just a moment. Okay, the first thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and mark out um, where you want your hole to be. And uh, then you need to get one of these. This is a hole saw. And uh, you know, like I said, the Uniseals come in all different sizes, but um, today we're going to be installing a two inch uh, piping. Uh, it's a bit larger than what I normally have to do, but um, we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is, like I said, mark out your hole and uh, line up your inner blade with this. And go ahead and start your drill and get it going, just, just, just in there. Now, what I do is I reverse my drill now and I go ahead and I uh, just kind of go ahead and do it in reverse. And what that does is it heats up the plastic and it'll give you a nice clean, just enough to just like that. Um, now again, I did that in reverse because I wanted a nice clean edge. And what that what this does is creates friction on the blade and gives you a nice clean edge. Now you can just go in. Uh, using the drill the correct way, but I found that this makes a better, better edge to uh, put our part in. All right, we'll show you the rest in just a moment. Okay, now that we have our hole, we got our unit seal. Now, there's a lot of different advice out there. Um, I do use a heat gun uh, to kind of soften them up. I didn't do that in this case because it's such uh, thin plastic. But if you're um, going into something a little thicker you would definitely want to kind of soften this up and I will use the heat gun later on when we go to uh, insert our pipe and I'll show you that in just a minute but to put these in it's fairly simple you uh, you uh, have to do your hole a little larger so this is a two inch uh, uniseal but I use a three inch hole saw and uh, what you do is you just kind of put it in there just like that and it's and that's it it's in nothing to it all right, now let me go ahead and go cut some pipe and uh, I'll be back to show you how to uh, insert this. Okay, the next step, now that I got my pipe cut, and this is very important, you want to bevel this edge a little bit. Now what I use, um, is I don't like breaking out my router and things like that, is I use just a blade and I just kind of go along the edge of it just like that. And just take your time and then take off a little bit at a time, just like that and go all the way around when you're doing that. And what you want to do is just kind of create a nice, nice bevel. And when you're done doing that, go ahead and uh, run just some sandpaper over it just to take off any edges that um, might be left. So I'll show you that when we're all done. Okay, um, so now I've uh, beveled the edge real nice. Uh, got it all smoothed out. I used a little bit of sandpaper. And uh, so now what I'm gonna do and I know this is going to make some of you shudder, but um, the next step you need to do, besides the heat gun and just getting that warm just a little bit, is that you're going to use a little bit of Windex. Now, I know what you're thinking, oh my god, it's going to poison the fish, but um, here's the thing. The tank is 350 gallons. The main uh, ingredient in here is ammonia. And so, guess what the main ingredient of fish water is? It's ammonia. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just heat this up just a little bit and I'm going to put just a little bit of Windex on the pipe just to get it uh, nice and uh, slippery and then we'll show you, uh, show you what happens when we uh, go to put it in. Alright, be right back.
Okay, now that we have the Uniseal all heated up, we're just going to put a little bit of uh, Windex on the end of our pipe, just a little bit, just like that, just enough to get it wet, and a little bit on the inside, just to lube it up a little bit. Now, because this is nice and warm, and the uh, plastic here is not very stable here, I'm going to have to get, get up here and just kind of support the back of it a little bit. Just like that. And sometimes it takes a little finesse, which sometimes I'm lacking thereof. But I'm going to push and twist. There it is. Okay, and that's it. Seal the back of the pipe, it's all the way through. I think we got ourselves a good seal here. And uh, and that's it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the rest of this and uh, show you that there are no leaks in this. All right, thank you. Take care. Oh yes, one more thing. Um, in case you're wondering what I use to cut my PVC with, I know a lot of people use uh, just cut off tools, but I found that this is indispensable. It's a Japanese saw, they call it, or a, a pole saw. And uh, I, I mean, I couldn't do anything without this, it seems. It's a pretty useful tool, uh, relatively inexpensive, and you can use it for a bazillion things. But it makes very short work of PVC pipe. OK, um, here we go. It's all installed now. Um, and uh, no leaks at all. I've had this water level all the way up and uh, no leaks at all. So there you have it. These are Uniseals. Uh, again, I get them at uh, Bulk Reef Supply. and You can get them other places. Uh, I just found that they were uh, the most inexpensive there and I order them, you know, like 10 at a time. And uh, so there you have it. No leaks easy to install and you can do uh, curved surfaces with these which is uh, something you can't do with like a traditional bulkhead fitting. Um, so there you have it. Uh, for those of you wondering, uh, this was my original exit pipe but um, I'm a strong believer in redundancy when it comes to aquaponic systems. Um, anything can go wrong so I wanted to install a larger drain and uh, also this keep it as a backup. Uh, in case this one ever gets uh, clogged up for whatever reason and uh, you know avoid having 400 gallons of water on my garage floor so anyway there you have it uh, take care